But you literally finished and sat down on the benches at the finish line and waited for your friends to finish. And away we go, everyone. How you doing today? Okay, the hay is almost in the barn. The H-A-Y is almost in the barn, but not quite yet, all right? We're not done working quite yet. So remember, volume of running, so how many miles or kilometers I'm running per week is coming down, and the intensity of the workouts is going up. This is how I taper, this is how I sharpen before a peak race. So today's workout, that's right, I'm gonna warm up in the Hoka Rincons, haven't worn these in a while, three miles to a grass soccer field. It's actually I have five soccer fields stacked together and around all the soccer fields is one kilometer. So then I'm gonna put on my cross country spikes. That's right, some, uh, not the lightest cross country spikes out there on the market, but I'm glad I have them for a workout just like today on grass. And so what I'm gonna do, warm up, strides, stretch, a few more strides, and then uh, five by one K with 90 seconds rest in between each K. And don't, I'm not going all out on these Ks. It's more for, yes, I do wanna go a little anaerobic, not too much, just a little bit, probably on the third and the fourth one. I'll use the first two to kind of warm up a little bit, third and fourth a little higher, and then the fifth one just kind of finish it off nice and smooth. Um, but the key for today is the turnover. I wanna get those legs moving, make sure they're ready to respond on Saturday, okay, that they have that turnover to go. So that's the goal, all right, so let's do this. Uh, I'm trying to think, I feel like there was something else I was gonna say, but I can't think of it right now. Let's do it, let's go, let's go, come on, let's do this. I made it to the park, or the soccer fields I should say. There are some games going on, even a cricket game, but I think I can work around it. I'm gonna take the vest off, finish the warm up with another half mile, and then the strides, and then rock and roll time. All right, let's do this. Whew. Oh. Yeah, gotta put the spikes on soon. Two down, three to go. Uh, feeling good, right around 5.20, 5.30 pace uh, for the Ks uh, as far as per mile. Mm. All right, see you afterward. Oh yeah, that was fun. A little cross country style workout. Uh, let's see, so obviously it's a little difficult to film my own workout, so I didn't get too many shots. Uh, someday I'll have a little more uh, a little more filming help on the workouts just to really engage with you as far as how, uh, how I'm feeling during the workout. So uh, I, I glanced, so my watch is set to miles, not to kilometers, but I glanced down and I was ranging between 5.30 a mile and 5.10 a mile, right where I wanted to be. Nothing crazy, but getting the turnover going. And what's nice is that in the uh, in the race, the Pikes Peak Ascent, I wouldn't expect, I don't think I'll go under six minute pace at any point in the race, for really. So I feel like my legs are ready to do that and uh, that was good. And what else? I think that's it. All right, off to the gym and uh, stretching, rolling, pool, recovery, rest, rest. And I'm um, back from the pool and decided not to do any filming in the rec center today. I fully realize that you guys can only watch me stretch with that machine so many times or kick my legs in the pool so many times. So I didn't do any filming, but it's, uh, it's amazing. And yes, it is part of the sharpening process. So we're entering into the last week of the taper. So tonight in the studio, I'm gonna to talk to you about sharpening, what I do to make sure my legs are as fresh as possible. You know, the fitness, is basically there. I'm gonna talk one more, I'm gonna talk more tomorrow about 
Uh, well, I'll just let you come back tomorrow to see what I'm gonna do for basically my last workout. Uh, but the fitness is there. Now it's really, really time to freshen up, AKA sharpen those legs. So let's go I'm here in the uh, carports. I'm gonna roll out and then uh, really, I'm gonna pull out some, um, the, what is it called? The, hold on. <laughs> That's right, I couldn't really think of the name, the deep blue rub, and just rub my legs out, all right? Just start working out any last, and I know we still got like six days, but any last kinks, soreness, tiredness, it's time to really, really freshen up. Uh, so I'm excited, all right, let's do this. Uh, first, gonna start with the normal foam roller, this guy right there. And now we are in the final week of my three week taper. You know how I love a three week taper, so this is it. This is where we freshen up. This is where we sharpen, and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. I've got three points for you for how I really go from uh, pretty high volume, pretty like high volume, high vertical, and okay, quick side note, in the K repeats today on the grass at 520, about 520 pace uh, in the middle as far as an average, I was really happy that I was not uh, getting ready to race a marathon on Saturday on the roads because my legs, they are in like third gear right now. For a marathon, I need to be in fifth gear. But right now my legs are in third gear, which is what I need for climbing, meaning more torque, more strength, not as much turnover. I want a little bit of turnover, but not as much turnover. So anyway, the pace felt fine today, but I could just tell like, oh man, I'm not ready for a road marathon right now. That's where the sharpening uh, leading into a faster effort is really, 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 really critical. And now what are my three points that I wanna share for what I like to do to sharpen, which is a little different than tapering. Tapering is cutting volume, uh, freshening up, but sharpening is where you really get those legs like perfect, as perfect as possible. And it's not always, it's not always gonna happen. Just accept that right now. And um, life happens, right? Okay, so number one is rest as much as possible. But we all work, right? And you guys are busy and you've got family, you've got soccer practice to go to it. Life is like, we're not professional runners here. So number one is rest as much as possible, meaning, don't go, <laughs> this is my recommendation. Don't mow your yard two days or even three days before a peak race, especially if you're pushing a lawnmower for two hours. Like that would be one way to reduce uh, the stress on your legs leading into a peak race. So that's point number one, rest as much as possible. Number two, which I just got done doing outside the studio, massage, stretch. And I'm gonna add one other point, loosen up as much as possible, as simple as this shaking your legs. I'm doing it right now, standing here, just like loosey goosey, just making sure those legs are loose and mine are not like, mine are not perfect yet. I've got, you know, five days to go to just make sure they're nice and loose and that all the kinks are worked out. So that's point number two, massage, stretch, and just loosen up and it, whatever it's like pool, I've already mentioned that. Um, so that's point number two for sharpening. Okay, and point number three, last one for arriving on the starting line. What I do the last week leading into that peak race is, here it is, snap, snap, snappy. What do I mean? Strides, form drills, and mentally sharp. Strides, form drills, and mentally sharp. So, uh, and I'm gonna hone in on one area of the lower legs, or the, the legs in general, is the knee. So I really like to make sure, that's why I love butt kickers, where you kick your, your feet up to your butt, just to make sure that you are mentally in charge of your legs, meaning you are as snappy as possible so that you, and you know how I'm always repeating to myself on the runs, what do I say? I say, eyes up, pump your arms, and quick feet. Eyes up, pump your arms, and quick feet. And part of that quick feet is snappy, leg, is snappy legs, but especially in the knee. Just making sure you're, it's like those fast twitch muscles, just boom, 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 boom. So anyway, that is point number three for sharpening. Uh, leading into the peak race, I wanna be snap, snap, snappy, which will naturally happen as your volume comes down. All right, okay, sharp keyword question of the day. Did you race this weekend? If so, how did you do? By the way, the Leadville 100 happened this week. I saw a couple people in Demore Global running, uh, did the race, congratulations. It's a 100 mile race here in Colorado. I did not go film it. Again, I just needed to chill out and rest this weekend because of Pikes Peak. So I did not go film it, but I wanted to, but I wanted to. Okay, two vlogs at the end here. One on the left is my most recent discussion on tapering. 
And the one on the right is my most recent race, the Jackson Hole race up in Wyoming that I did to, I'm just gonna finish out, even though I don't know what's going on with these lights, these batteries. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.